ऑल राइट सो वेलकम एवरी वन ऑल राइट और मतलब वेलकम ईशा एंड और अभी ऑल राइट सो बिफोर वी बिगिन विद basically python basics and python advanced you know uh, so basically our objective will be what our objective will be that uh, we will be studying what we will be studying artificial intelligence machine learning in short we'll start with data analytics data sciences it all comes under artificial intelligence and machine learning data science now so uh, we will be doing what we will be starting with the of course python basics and proceeding towards data analytics artificial intelligence and machine learning so what i, am, I want to say is that i'll be telling you how to install python ide basically integrated development environment you all must be aware of that related to machine learning and artificial intelligence all right so it is very simple just google anaconda windows download All right, or whatever system you have, just uh, Google Anaconda Windows download, and I click on the first link, Anaconda distribution. All right, so this is what it is. Or or you can you can do what you can just click on download. All right, so this is what it is. Or you can do what you can go to this installing on Windows Anaconda documentation. All right, uh, so uh, yeah, you can read this documentation if you want to. Although it is not needed, go to download the Anaconda installer. All right, and you will be navigated to another page. All right, so they have changed the page recently. All right, you can just uh, click on install Anaconda. All right, and download. or if you want to download the windows version you can click over here it is going to get downloaded all right this is for windows version and this is for your mac os version and this is for linux version all right i am sharing this link uh i see only two people over here uh yeah yeah even me too okay. so this uh, uh, one question is there so yeah. this anaconda actually i have pip already installed in my system so uh, what is the difference between that pip3 and this anaconda okay. uh, so see in pip3 you don't need to uh, do what you don't need to uh install a uh, python all right uh for pip sorry pip you need to install python and all you need to go to the python documentation website and and you need to install python all right but in anaconda what happens is that uh, you don't need to install any of this on your system personal system or any professional and uh, you don't need to install that so that's oh. why uh, yeah anaconda is needed you don't need to install any uh what any package in python oh okay okay got it yeah you don't so, need to install any package in python they will all come pre downloaded okay so if we download anaconda automatically python also will come into it uh yeah it is cloud based basically it is cloud oh. based okay okay got yeah, it yeah so you will get all the packages you don't need to go every go to the uh, terminal command prompt every time or any terminal you are working on any operating system you don't need to go there every time hai na so oh. to install certain packages so python mein there are a lot of packages hai na so installing them every now and then will be a, a tedious task hai na so it is better recommended to download anaconda huh? so this is what it is all right so anaconda is what anaconda you can install anaconda all right it takes time it takes at least 10 to 15 minutes you can install anaconda and from tomorrow onwards you will do what you uh, start our classes with anaconda all right there is another option all right there is an other option 
we can do what we can basically uh open collab dot research dot google dot com so i'm sharing the link in the chat box all right i'm sharing this link also in chat box collab dot research dot google dot com all right so just open collab dot research dot google dot com i'm opening it once again collab dot research dot google dot com so this kind of dialog uh, window will appear this time of uh, not dialog this type of window will appear all right so you can do what you can simply go on to new notebook and you, know, you can go on to new notebook and you will find what you will find yourself in a python notebook this is also a python ide integrated development environment powered by google all right and uh, it's uh, it is connected to google cloud engine and all right google cloud engine and google cloud gpu as well so if your pc let's say you are working on any high end development uh, problem or development problem statement all right that requires high end coding and stuff that requires gpu basically so you can do what you can use uh, google collab it is same as jupiter notebook anaconda's jupiter notebook all right so this is what it is all right uh, any doubts still here which id to use and uh, which not this also comes pre installed with all the libraries packages in python basically okay uh, any doubts No, question, no doubts. No doubts. No, I, I'm good as of now. Great. So, uh, do install Anaconda. All right. Do install Anaconda. All right. And uh, when we meet again in the next session, so we will work on Anaconda. All right. Google Google Collab is also very much recommended, and. Anaconda, the Anaconda installation is also recommended. All right. All right. So, shall we begin? Yeah. Yeah. All right. so anyone having a background in python anyone has learned python or worked in python before hey yeah, i work on python so okay. not uh, uh, so not um, advanced level actually but mm -hmm. um, um i work by i work on python and uh, uh, i use it to connect with uh, linux systems and run shell scripts through python so we are doing some automation over there Achha, so ha ha you told ah, we have already introduced yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. you use selenium yeah. selenium right selenium you use selenium no no python. no no only core python only core python core python okay so you must yeah. be familiar familiar with python basics like uh, list dictionary Set tuples. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. What about uh, you, Isha? Uh, Utkarsh, even I use Python basics only, and uh, I work on the cloud part. Uh, so I in AWS Lambda I use Python in basic okay. scripting part I work. Okay, so you also must be aware with basic of Python. Yeah, yeah. Operators and all, a list, yeah. dictionary, set, and tuple. Yeah, yeah, I know these things. Okay, so, uh, sh shall we go through Python basics? It will be a quick refresher. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, you're fine. Great. All right. Excuse me. Okay, then that's great. So let us go through Python basics. So we'll start with what? We'll start with operators in Python. All right. 
So you all must be familiar what this hash means. Comments in Python. All right. Non-readable code in Python. All right. All right. Any doubts? Comments in Python. No. All right. Great. All right. So let us start with operators in Python. First, we'll start with the first we'll start with assignment operator. All right. A is what A is a variable. All right. Equal to is what equal to is your assignment operator. All right. And this five is what this five means that we are assigning five to variable A. Five is what five is an integer. All right. I believe all of you are from computer computer science background. Yes, Utkarsh. Great. Yeah. Great. So A is your variable equal to is your assignment operator. Five is your what? We are a, is an integer that we are assigning it to A. All right. So moving ahead further. So we'll take what? We'll take type. Now we want to know what we want to know the type of the data type that A consists of. So A is equivalent to five. We say that it is an integer. We all know that it is an integer. But how will we make it return from Python? So we'll use the type keyword or type command, all right, followed by parenthesis, followed by A, all right. So it will give you what? It will give you an integer, short form for integer, int, int, all right. So this is what it is, all right. So this is an assignment operator. Similarly, we have what, let's say, B is equal to, let's say, 7. So if we write type command, so it will be what? It will be an integer. Now, if we do what? If we write point zero, so it will be what? It will be which kind of a data type? Float. Correct. It will be a float data. Python does not consist of double. All right. It only consists of float. All right. Similarly, if we write, let's say, in single inverted quotes, let's say we write MS only. So it will be what? It will be in, it will be a string based data, STR. All right. So this is what. Now, if we write what? If we write, let's say, true. So it will be what? It will be a Boolean, bool kind of a data type. So these are the four different data types in Python, kind of singular data types in Python. All right. So integer, we have integer, we have string, we have what? We have a Boolean, we have float. Four different types of singular data types in Python. All right. So this is what it is. So let us take b is equal to seven once again all right so let us talk about arithmetic operators so a plus b all right we can uh, keep it equivalent to c all right so print c now uh there are what there are we can print in python in two different uh, in two different formats all right we can either use what we can either use just c all right and it will give you output just below the input all right so this is what this basically whatever we are typing over here whatever we are coding small code over here so this is what this is a cell so it's known as a no python notebook cell all right and as i said that uh, it is connected to what it is connected to google com google compute engine all right you can see ram 0.95 12.68 and a disk of 23.27 or 107.72. All right. So this is what it is. So see, now if we write type over here to know its data type, it will give us a word. It will give us an integer. Similarly, we have what? We have a minus subtraction operator. We have, and if it is in minus, still minus infinity till plus infinity, it is what? It is an integer. Now let's say it is minus. 7.2 so it will be what this will also be termed as float this will also be termed as what this will also be termed as a float all right so this is what it is any dec decimal value from minus infinity to plus infinity float any integer value non-decimal value whole number from minus infinity to plus infinity will be termed as what will be termed as an integer all right so this is what it is. Similarly, we have asterisk 
multiplication operator we have all right let me just show it to you all all right let me make b back as seven similarly we have what we have division operator all right aware of this double slash aware of this double slash uh, i think it will uh, um, print the remainder of uh, the division uh, no it will print the quotient oh okay okay yeah, it will print the quotient this is floor division operator prints the portion all right so this is what it is. so if we divide 5 by 7 all right so the remainder will be the remain uh, the quotient will be the quotient will be zero but if we take it inverse let's say all right, seven divided by five, then it will give us what? Then it will give us one. All right, because five divided by seven, five ones are five, and then the remainder is your two. So if you take the remainder, B mod A, remainder is for mod. All right, B mod A. So it will be what? It will be termed as two, because two is what? Two is the remainder. Five ones are five, seven minus five is equal to two. So this is what? So mod or modulus used for returning the returning the remainder all right so this is what it is uh, any doubts till now uh, plus uh, subtraction addition multiplication division so division modulus any doubts still now? no not from my side okay are we okay with these uh, basics of python or shall we move ahead further towards list directly We can continue with the basics. Sure. What about you, Ravi? Yeah, you can continue with the basics. Great, great. All right. So moving and ahead further. That, uh, I yeah, have please. one, just one doubt. Yeah, so you me. told, uh, for example, line number 37, if we need to print E, we need not write print keyword, right? So uh, yeah, correct, correct, correct. That applies only for these notebooks or that applies to IDEs like PyCharm as well? Uh, no, that applies for a uh, good question. That applies for Jupyter Notebook, Google Collab. Not for, I oh. uh, no, no, not for IDEs of PyCharm. You need to write print every time. Oh, okay, okay. okay. All right. Yeah, I'm coming to that only. All right. So, yeah. So, let me cover that. So, see, uh, in Jupyter Notebooks and the Collab Notebooks, so they are what? They are the same. PyCharm is used for what? PyCharm is used for uh, PyCharm is used for what? PyCharm is used for basically your more of a software development practice. You know? These uh, Collab and uh, these uh, Jupyter Notebooks, they, they are used for what? They are used for more of uh, your uh, this, uh, uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science and analytics uh, development. So uh, coming back to the point, so e if you want to see say uh, print a single variable, uh, so it will it will be what it will uh, basically uh, you can uh, use the variable directly just like we have used till now like say c all right like say c again d e uh, let's say I want to print d and e uh, together in a single cell. All right, so see, it is printing what it is printing E only. It is not printing D. Let us say I take D over here and E over here. So it is printing what it is printing D only. Yeah. It is printing D only. It is it has skipped E. So now if I want to print two variables in a single cell, we can use what? We can use the print statement. Excuse me. We can use the print statement. Now, as you can see, it has not skipped any value, any variable. <coughs> Excuse me. It has not skipped any variable. It is doing what? It is basically printing both the variables. 
all right so that is why in these ids we use what we do all right so this is what it is all right so am i clear ravi hello am i clear ravi hello yeah 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 all right so moving ahead towards exponential of it a very simple it is all right so let's say b double asterisk a so this means what b to the power a or we can say 7 to the power 5 or 7 multiplied by 7 5 times multiplied all right 7 multiplied 5 times so it is going to give us the what it is going to give same output all right so this is what an exponential operator okay so in uh, java in c c++ c sharp we need to do what we need to basically declare variables first like int a int comma int b comma char c or str c or string c etc etc in python is a very flexible program language you don't need to declare any variable separately just uh, assign your value or hai uh, na assign your value and start working that's it all right so this is what it is and in python just like this we have done seven aspect seven aspect seven etc and now we can just like a calculator as we can directly you know uh subtract and uh, multiply any any arithmetic operation we want we can do in the c sharp or c plus plus or java we need to declare into a variable we you know do it directly like a calculator and the uh, the benefit of these kind of notebooks is that python notebooks is a jupyter notebook collab etc etc that you get the output right there after the input get the output right there you don't need to write the entire program like pycharm and then Uh, run it in a terminal. No, this will not. All right. You can do what you can basically. All right. So this is what it is. All right. You can basically just like a calculator. You can. All right, and get the output over. There. So this is what a uh, Python is capable of. All right. Uh, any doubts till now? Anyone? Any doubts? Uh, no, I am good. Great. So let us uh, move ahead further. All right, let us move ahead further. So this was what this was basically our Python basics. All right. So this is what it is. So arithmetic operation. All right. So this is what it is. Now let us do what. Let us move ahead towards relational operator. So you all must be. you all must be aware of that your relational operators are all right all right so this is what it is all right let us have a look at relational operator right? let's say let us take uh, we have a is equal to 5 we have b is equal to 7 all right great let us take c c is equal to a is uh, let's say greater than 5 all right so what will it return it will either return true or false false a is not greater than 5 all right a is equivalent to 5 if we write equal to 5 over here so it is going to return true now if we check the type of c it will show us what it will show us as a boolean data type all right so this is what a relational operator is. tells you the relation of a with a particular number let's say 6 then also it will be turned as uh, sorry uh, it is greater than equal to 5 but if we write greater than 6 then it will be what it will be false because a is what a is equivalent to 5 all right a is equivalent to 5 all right and we are turning what we are turning a is greater than e greater than or equal to 6. Right, so it will be what it will. It will be false, of course. 
if we write four over here, then it is going to give us true. All right. So this is what now if we write less than equal to four. All right. So it will be it will give us what it will give us is false. But if we write less than equal to six, so it will give us what it will give us is true. So these are what and its uh, type will be what type will be boolean. So these are what these are your relational operators in Python, common for all programming language. All right, common for all programming language. All right. So this is what it is. Pretty simple it is. All right. So this is what it is. All right. So this is what Python, uh, very basics of Python is all about. All right. So next we will be starting with what? All right. Next we will be starting with Python data structures. Python data structures. Now Python data structures consist of what? There are four different types of data structures in Python. All right, list, dictionary, set or sets, tuple, tuple or, or tuple. All right, so this is what is and all right, and another benefit of these notebooks is that you can uh, basically write headings, you can write uh, include images of a presentation. All right, all of it is possible over here. See, insert image, insert link. You can uh, present your notebook as a presentation as well. So, present your analysis as a presentation as well. See, I'm writing Python. But see, a heading appeared. But similarly, I can convert them into what? Into bullet points as well. All right. All right. Uh, set and tuples. And press what? Press shift plus enter. All right. For all to run all the cells, either press this, all right, or press shift plus enter will uh, run the cell and take you to an other cell. All right, so this is what it is. I'm sharing another Zoom link. All right, I'm sharing another Zoom link in your WhatsApp. 